seeing beyond normal physics, looking from and as the silence itself. Namaste on this uh, lovely summer evening here in the UK. But I've also had a question, but this process that I refer to as the open gaze, which I know Lynn has also experienced uh, and a number of others, uh, is actually very, very powerful. And so Christian's question is this. When you look into the eyes of another, what is it that you see? And can it be described? It seems that you are really looking deeply. When you say, I see you, as you have said to me. So let's kind of start, take this step by step, the, the process, the infinite touch, the open gaze. As I said, merely the presence of the silence in that same shared space is enough, but sometimes the physical contact or the bodily interaction actually helps people make a connection to the essence that they are, and I call that the infinite silence. So when I'm physically inviting people to look into my eyes and they're looking into mine and I'm looking into to theirs, obviously I can see the physical form, that's natural enough, clearly. But that's not really the space that I, my focus is on or the where the attention is. From my perspective, as we're doing that, is that it's, I am looking from and as the silence itself, the infinite silence. That's where my attention is rested. In fact, it's always rested there. And so when I'm physically looking at you, my attention is rested in that silent essence, the infinite silence. That's where my focus is. That's where the attention is. And this is a seeing beyond normal physical seeing. And what I'm seeing in inverted commas is that same presence, that same essence that's in you. And in fact, from my perspective, and that's a, a non-individual my really, there is no separation. There is no separation. Not only that, there is no doubt about that at all. There's just a knowing that not only this form here that you see as Philip and your form, Christine, who's asked the question, you are also that same infinite silence. And as my attention is rested on that, the knowing, it's almost like I'm looking through your physical form as the silence, not in an intrusive way, but in the recognition, the recognition of our shared unity as the silence. And if there's anything in the way from your perspective of that, then it's like a, um, inviting or there's the invitation of the silence in a non-personal way for you to recognize that silence that's within you and is you. And this silence is purely non-personal. There's no identification, there's no attachment of anything other than the absoluteness of the silence. And so it's like an invitation, a constant invitation. I'm not looking at the personhood, I'm not looking at the form, it's just the focus is totally and utterly on the silence. And yet at the same time, I can see changes taking place at the physical level. And there's just a knowing as to when to bring that gaze part of the process to a close and then offer the physical touch to kind of anchor it a little bit further. So really the answer is it's not a physical seeing, it's a resting of the attention totally in and as the silence and knowing that not only am I that 
but you are that and indeed everything else is that and that process of using this through the, the physical eyes is very very powerful you know there is some truth in the saying that the eyes are the windows to the soul it's like the using the form the physical form of the eyes to create an energetic connection to that silence so going on to the part can it be described well ultimately the silence itself is beyond words we might use words like infinite silence timeless eternal essence stillness formless but all of these are just signposters signposts to it they're not it so that is where the attention and it's simply a knowingness an awareness of that that's where the attention is focused and it's the certainty if you like that the knowingness of that that creates a very powerful invitation for the person who's not yet perhaps realized that experientially to join in that space in that unity in that oneness so Christine then goes on to say it seems that you are looking really deeply well I guess the answer to that is as deep as you can get there is nothing before this this is the looking from that space so the part when I it is said it's more accurate to say it that way I see you the I here important to understand is not a personal I we think of the word I and we use it in the very personal sense you know like I am Philip you are Christine the I here really speaking is the infinite I the infinite I and what is it that's being seen it is the seeing of itself or the remembering or more perhaps more accurately still the realization of itself made and yet it is made manifest in infinite variety so the I see you is the realization of itself it's an invitation of that to recognize itself as itself Thank you.